Cameras face a fundamental trade-off between spatial and temporal resolutions. For capturing high-speed video, we usually have to sacrifice the spatial resolution. In this paper, we show that by efficient sampling and sparse representation of the space-time volume, it is possible to overcome this trade-off. We show examples of reconstructing high-speed, high-resolution video from a single exposure coded image. Here is an example of the trade-off. A camera can either capture a single image with full resolution or four images by sampling every fourth row. The resulting interpolated movie has a reduced spatial resolution. This is an extreme case, 36 times gain in temporal resolution. Although we can see smooth motion in the movie, the image quality is reduced significantly. In this paper, our goal is to overcome this trade-off. Specifically, we show examples of generating high-speed and high-resolution movies from a single input-coded image. Our technique has three main components. Our sampling scheme is designed while accounting for the restrictions imposed by current image sensors. As a result, it can easily be implemented in hardware. The next component is learning an overcomplete dictionary from a wide range of videos. On the right is a sample of our dictionary bases. One pixel represents one video patch. The dictionary captures atomic video features such as edges shifting in various directions. For details of the sparse representation and reconstruction, please refer to the paper. Now we show some examples on simulations performed on real high-speed video data. Here is an example of traffic on road. The movie on the left is the original high-speed movie. The image on the right is the simulated input-coded image. Here is a comparison of our method and several other methods. 36 frames are recovered from the single input image. Top left is the thin-out movie implemented in many consumer cameras. Top right is the result of pixel-wise sparse sampling and 3D bilinear interpolation of the space-time volume. Bottom left is a sparse reconstruction result using 3D DCT dictionary. And bottom right is our result, sparse reconstruction using learned overcomplete dictionary. In our result, we can see the rotating texture on the wheel of the left truck and high spatial resolution texture on both the background and the moving objects. Here is another example. Notice the details on the nose and the mouth as recovered by our method. To implement our sampling scheme, we have developed a hardware prototype using a liquid crystal on silicon, or LCOS device. Let's look at some real experimental results. Here is an example of simple translation motion of a tennis ball. Notice the coded motion blur on the input image. Total exposure length is 18 milliseconds. 18 frames were reconstructed from the input image. The motion is recovered faithfully while retaining high resolution texture details on the ball. Here is another example of falling ball. This is a challenging example where we capture the motion of a lighter flame. The effective frame rate of the reconstructed movie is 1000 FPS. High resolution details are preserved on the static lighter and on the hand. Here is an example of fluid motion. The spreading milk crown is visible on the reconstructed movie. Our technique does not rely on any analytical motion models, making such a reconstruction possible. Here is an example of a coin rotating on a table. This example is challenging due to severe occlusions. Notice that the fast motion of the coin is captured, while the high spatial resolution on the table is preserved. In this example, we capture the subtle motion of a rotating coin. Notice the shimmering on the specular coin as it rotates. In this case, we reconstruct muscle deformations during an eye blink. Here is another example of blinking. 
Subtle muscle motion and details of skin wrinkles below the eye are recovered faithfully. In summary, we proposed techniques for sampling, representing, and reconstructing space-time volumes for overcoming the spatio-temporal resolution trade-off. We have built a hardware prototype for simulating fast per pixel shutter. We demonstrated the performance of our techniques through simulations and real experiments on a variety of challenging scenes, including fluid and flame motion, occlusions, and muscle deformations.